Hey guys, welcome to Control System Lectures. We have been mentioning about limit cycles for many lectures now, and also you all will be having an idea about what a limit cycle is. However, in this video, we will be having a formal discussion on the topic. So, let's start our lecture. Limit cycle is an oscillation peculiar to nonlinear systems. It was discovered by H. Poincare. They appear as isolated closed trajectories in phase plane. So, in a phase plane, it might look like this. X1, X2, and limit cycle is any closed trajectory in this phase plane. We don't necessarily need a perfect ellipse or a perfect circle. Any closed trajectory will contribute to limit cycles and causes oscillations. The oscillatory behavior, unexplained in terms of linear theory, is characterized by a constant amplitude and frequency determined by the nonlinear properties of the system. Limit cycles are distinguishable from linear oscillations in a way that their amplitude of oscillations is independent of initial conditions. For instance, if a system has a stable limit cycle, the system trajectories will tend to fall into the limit cycle with the output approaching the amplitude of that limit cycle regardless of the initial conditions and input function. That is, suppose you consider this as a stable limit cycle, then the system trajectories from the nearby fall into the limit cycle irrespective of the initial conditions. Okay. Now, let's draw phase trajectories for a wonderful oscillator and I will show how the phase trajectories end up in closed loop no matter what the initial conditions are. So, this is a MATLAB code I have written for the Van der Poel oscillator and I have given the parameter mu equal to 4 and 1. Now, let's try to draw the phase trajectories for this. So, this is the phase plane and the vector field shows the direction of trajectory at each point. Now, let me randomly choose an initial point. You can see that the phase trajectory has formed a closed loop over here. This shows the existence of a limit cycle over here. Now let me choose another initial point. You can see that again the trajectory has fallen into the same closed loop. Uh, let me choose something inside. And you can see that again the trajectory has fallen into the same limit cycle. This will be the case no matter wherever the initial points are chosen. You can see that here. See, All the trajectories are falling into the same limit cycle. Now, if I change the value of nu, let me change nu equal to 1. Now, we will again draw the phase trajectories. Now, if I plot a phase trajectory, you can see that again the trajectory has formed a closed loop, but in a different shape. Okay. So, this is the limit cycle for a Van der Poel oscillator. Mathematically speaking, a limit cycle is a closed trajectory in phase space having the property that at least one other trajectory spirals into it as the time approaches infinity. So, in a phase plane, a limit cycle can be easily recognized as an isolated closed path. This also means that its neighboring trajectories are not closed. These trajectories should either spiral towards or away from the limit cycle and based on this, we can categorize the limit cycle into three classes. The first one is a stable limit cycle. A stable limit cycle is one which attracts all neighboring trajectories. So, if we look at the figure of a stable limit cycle, you can see that all the neighboring trajectories are attracted to this limit cycle marked in red. Okay. That is, if all the neighboring trajectories approach the limit cycle as time approaches infinity, then the limit cycle is called a stable one or attracting one. Stable limit cycles are very important scientifically because a system with stable limit cycle can exhibit self-sustained oscillations. That is, self-sustained oscillations. Meaning that these systems oscillate in the absence of external periodic forcing. Most of the biological process of interest are of this kind, like beating of a heart, periodic firing of a pacemaker neuron, daily rhythms in human body and hormone secretion, etc. Now, coming to the second case, unstable limit cycle. If the neighboring trajectories are repelled from the limit cycle, then it is an unstable limit cycle. 
that is all the trajectories which are sufficiently close to the limit cycle diverge from the limit cycle as time approaches infinity now coming to the third case that is half stable limit cycles half stable limit cycles are one which attract trajectories from inside and ripple those on the outside or vice versa for instance if we see this figure you can see that all the trajectories from the outside are ripple by the limit cycle while all the trajectories in the inside are attracted towards the limit cycle the opposite case is also true that is the trajectories from the inside can be ripple by the limit cycle and the trajectories on the outside can be attracted by the limit cycle in this case also the limit cycle is called a half stable limit cycle okay that is if some trajectories which are sufficiently close to a cycle converge to that cycle as t tends to infinity and others diverge from that cycle we call the cycle a half stable limit cycle or semi stable limit cycle of the system that is semi stable limit cycle now having talked about closed loops in non linear systems a question arises that is what about closed orbits in linear systems the answer is linear systems can also have oscillations that are closed orbits however we know that linearity implies if x of t is a solution so is c into x of t where c is a constant this means that the amplitude of the oscillations is determined by the initial conditions unlike the case of non linear systems that's all for this lecture and if you have any doubts please feel free to ask in the comment sections if you found the lecture useful please like the video and also support us by subscribing to the channel in the next video we will discuss about point care bendixson theorem which is used to check the existence of limit cycles thanks for watching and have a nice day